This is Hunting for Purple Streetlights in Kansas City, video 286. That is Santa Fe Street and the southbound I-35 ramps right there. That's that intersection where the light just where the light is green right now. Um, so we have these lights that are on the sides. Yeah, not those. Like that one, that one. Um, for right now, I'm not going to zoom in on those simply because I did not charge this in between trips very long because I forgot to plug this into my charger. And I really want to get the purple ones that are already obviously purple here and prove what the LED panels look like at this time point. I first saw these, I think, on February 6th, if, I want to, if I'm right, or maybe February 7th. Um, when I came over here, my car overheated and I had to jog from place to place. Um, now it is March uh, 23rd. Actually, I think it's 24th technically now because it's after midnight. Um, so this is a month and a half later or so. And I'm going to get these LED panels, patterns. So there are no none in the middle there. And they tend to put them on lights that are in the middle. Actually, tend to incorrect on this side it's actually only that way <laughs> um from what i've already seen in the last video i might have skipped like one of these lights but none of them were purple not even at the intersection there so if somebody wants to look at this like statistically well i mean intersections are that way well guess what no nope, they didn't do it that way guys nope in fact they put it like actually closer to the topographic trough over here too. So drainage is going to be predictably in that direction. Basically about where the wind is blowing right now in that direction with that flag. That's where it would drain. If you look at a topographic map, you'll see. Wind usually is actually has more of a south component than it does right now out of the southeast. So wind is usually something like that blowing in that direction that's terrible for an evacuation clearly this is an important road anyway for people wanting to come from that direction which may or may not be able to make it because there's a much there's a much purpler light over there actually but on a like two halves of a pole which i might look at here soon i also want to look at another one that i could see that is over there before <clears throat> okay, anyway. Oh, I forgot to zoom in on this. How about we zoom in on this? Pull. Okay, here we go. That's the number. And then we'll start with the north side. When I'm on a, the other axis, I start on the west side. of LEDs are turning purple on this one. And I'm doing this on purpose, by the way. You can go frame by frame and you can see sometimes which ones are going to turn purple first. So it's running inclined. Actually, I'm going to go like this. Sorry, guys. So I can zoom in better. There we go. starting with this one. I think the second one from the right on the top row for sure I think is especially is going to turn purple. Some of these look like they're bluer when you streak this along. Because I think it's the ultraviolet light it leaves like a like an aftermark a little bit on the camera. Whatever's uh, collecting it, the photo sensor. So you can see that there's more ultraviolet light being emitted from that because the phosphor coating is already worn off a certain amount already. Indicating that th that will be a purple LED eventually, probably. Possibly the next one. So purple, purple. There we go. That's what that one looks like. That's on the north side of this pole. Now looking by the way, there's the moon. It's also full moon. A lot of the, my videos are really trying to film. 
It's just not exactly a full moon though. No. So it looks like, actually I'm not sure what's going on with this one yet, but let's see what we see. This one might be an odd thing, it's a no, because I think that one's going to be not exactly sure what's going on with this one. Yep, that's that one. To the next one going westward on Santa Fe in the median here. There's the Waffle House. There's also another right next to Birch. B Week GMC. ID. You can press the K button if you're watching this on a computer, and it will pause the video. And then you can press the greater than or less than symbol keys, but without the shift button. And you can go frame by frame, and you can see that some of these LEDs have more of a tendency to leave a blue streak than others, and are going to turn purple. Sometimes, though, other ones that you don't expect can turn purple or faster, but um, that's a general rule. Those are the next ones to turn purple. Let's see, something's going on with this one with. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if it's odds or evens. This is a little bit different. By the way, it's, it feels pretty cold out here. It's like being there for a bit. Alright. Moving on. By the way, there is a purple light. I don't know if you saw this, but there is a purple light way over there that we can look at at some point. It's. It's on, I've already seen it in other videos. I've already zoomed in on that light previously, but not recently. It's um, by Kansas Avenue, Kansas City Avenue, or it's Kansas Avenue and Ridgeview. I already forgot the name of it right now. Okay. There's a Kansas City and there's also a Kansas Avenue. Uh, Kansas Avenue is Northgate. It might be Kansas City Avenue, actually, or Street. But there's already a, you can look at, good, at satellite maps and you can see some lakes where those are draining too. Or I should say ponds, not lakes. Okay. If there's a chemical attack, that's the route that chemicals would take. Where they would drain to, probably. At least some of it.
The wind has been kind of variable east and southeast. Sometimes even east northeast. And it said it's March 24th. Right now. They replace these lights with when they supposedly collect their manufacturer warranty. Okay. And then, just in case I didn't get the full ID, that's the full ID right there. Looking to the east. Okay, this is facing west. These other lights actually look kind of like they look about as purple as these lights almost. But they're actually probably not. Because they look just like they looked back in um, June of 2023, and it's now March, late March. It's almost nine months, and they look the same. But I couldn't see the LED panels when I wanted to zoom in and check and see if they're LED panels. I don't have a way of knowing. <coughs> So I think I see a column thing going on here, like with the middle column, actually. Sorry guys, I sound like somebody's running towards me, it was just a freaking flag. Okay. There we go. So yeah, this one's going to turn purple right there, and my guess is this is probably going to be purpler up here, or that's going to be purpler down there. Actually, I think I see odds evens though, so I don't know, I'm not sure for sure right now. But a lot of times when there's a column, you can look and there'd be a, one of the rows will be purpler for some reason and I don't know why. People need to start talking about how these lights will be. Please be interested in it and start to tell people about what you see. That in itself should already raise some questions. Okay, so this looks like columns and rows here. One that we just looked at, actually. So, I don't know how they make these things, guys. You ask yourself, because we've already seen plenty of odds and evens. You can't get out of it. Odds and evens is a thing for some reason on some of these. No way in hell am I wrong about that. If you've seen all the panels, you know that they do an odds evens and a columns pattern. But some of these other patterns don't necessarily fit into either one and you gotta really wonder why. How do they make the other ones? Do they want it to look that way? Did they want delayed ones that don't turn purple as fast so that people don't notice it? Or what? You should really ask yourself why. Are they trying to keep us from noticing this? Because a lot of people, you ask them, they don't know what you mean. Sometimes they'll notice it on the interstate and that's about it. looks like. This one first.
real quick. Someone looks kind of familiar about this, but I don't know. Because you have to look at the numbers. I take snapshots of look at the snippet tool. And it, when you take the snippet, you can see the time in the video too. So that helps with collecting this data. I do that. I actually take it after uploading it, even though I have the copies also. So, so that I can also use it to show other people because it makes the most sense to do it that way. If somebody wants to go look at this video, I'm not going to try to find it, but I don't to find it because I'm just not looking for it. It's just like a little bit of a tiny thing. That flying sidekicker. kicker. Of course, if you found this video, it could be because I gave you the link. I don't know. Uh, or you somehow found it. I don't know. And that's the bronze Santa Fe street. And this is Ridgeview Road. Okay. This one's especially purple. It's most purple right here. You should ask yourself how that can even be a fucking coincidence, guys. I've seen it so much that you, you should know. You should basically know, guys. I'm not saying it's because those are the most important ones, so it helps you feel like it's a checkpoint kind of. But then it's gaslighting though, because these other ones change. So what is it, guys? There it is. They want chemicals to drop right here. And blow with the fucking wind. cities too. So far I've noticed in places where they would have caves where they care about that. So I don't know, maybe they don't want to hit Wait. certain areas guys, but they want to hit us. Maybe they sure as heck wouldn't want to admit it either, because if they did, people could try to figure it out, and they'd, be, they'd probably be mad about it to begin with. I mean, it's just choking people, that's all. Street or something like that, and Ridgeview that are fully blue now. Before they were comparable to these lights, this one maybe right there, which is probably gonna be like half purple, maybe in terms of number of LEDs. Wait.
This one even looks the same kind of different as the other ones, and I don't know why. Not the other ones over there. If you can, if you look at this, it's almost like this is candy or something like that. It doesn't even look the same as the other ones for some reason. I don't know what it is. Okay, so zooming out at this, so this might not, not even be half. Maybe a third or something. Because, no, I don't know. Because we, I could just, no, because it was leaning against the pole. So I really don't know what it is. Though. Somebody like right there. So like, why are you pointing the camera at me? Maybe they're all, you know what I think of And they generally not very long when they're lap much in between. They usually just jump over to the purple directly, almost. I don't know how many days it takes because I haven't really looked at it every day on any panel, but it seems like they jump eventually and don't just slowly change usually. idea for this. And you notice that pattern, that same pattern again, for some reason? It's almost like they put each individual sub-panel position as a different, it's a different role. But if they do that, then how many of the roles of the same batch do they use intentionally? It's, guys, I don't know how they don't do this on purpose. Probably a different batch than the other ones that have already turned, or what? Like they were already used and then then put up. Some of them were used more than the other ones. How does that work, guys? And why were they replaced already anyway? You should ask yourself why. If it is that, but for the other ones, it looks like they're different panel, like different the same pattern as you can find in other sub panels at some frequency, but on the same panels for some reason. Like they put them together on purpose. They want this purple. And they're telling you the opposite in the news.
so then there are a couple other ones that I found before it's not I can see one of them at least that one on the left that we're gonna look at This is the pull ID for this one. individual sub panel here. Moving around, yeah it's very clear which one to which one to be released pretty soon. Okay, and this is the north the north arm of this. Looking at the south arm. And then on this other side again. We have this light that is a lot like a purple street light. Or they're large LEDs or something. Oh, I only have one bar left. Okay, I can't keep doing that. I can only do this a couple more times. This battery is going to stop. I have to charge it. So I'm only going to zoom in on the ones that are obvious. Which should be this one over here. There's one other one that actually had a purple LED on it or something like that, and I just don't know which one it is. I'll have to skip to the next time point just because this video is going to stop eventually here. to some other ones that would be very interesting to look at to see if they've changed yet or what. In which they've been all odds or all evens the whole time since I've seen them. That are white, while the other ones are all purple. Or approximately all of them. Yeah, 
I'm not even gonna zoom all the way. Well, I want to zoom all the way in, but this is really close to ending. And if I lose this whole freaking thing, that's not gonna be worth it. So I'm actually gonna stop this video right. Actually, maybe I should show you a landmark. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video.